Welcome students to the quick solution of All India Cash Test Series Medical 2021. This is for TYM that is 2 year medical. This is test number 7 code C and D for chemistry conducted on 8th of March 2020. Let's start with the first question of chemistry students which is question number 46. Let's see the question students. Number of atoms present in 60 gram of urea is. Students, in this question we are given with the molecular formula of urea which is NH2 C double bond O NH2. And in this question we have to calculate total number of atoms. And for that first of all we will be calculating number of moles and then we will be able to calculate number of atoms. So let's start with number of moles of urea which is equals to given mass upon molar mass. Here the given mass is 60 gram. Also we can calculate the molar mass since we are given with the molecular formula. I have already calculated the molar mass which is 60 gram per mole. That means one mole of urea is present. Now we have to calculate number of atoms. So first of all we will be calculating number of molecules. of urea which is equals to 1 into Avogadro's number and we know the value of Avogadro's number which is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 therefore it is equals to 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 molecules now it is very clear that one molecule of urea has 8 atoms 2 nitrogen atom, 4 hydrogen, 1 carbon and 1 oxygen. So total 8 atoms. So number of atoms is equals to 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 multiplied by 8 which is equals to 4.8 into 10 to the power 24. That means the correct answer is option number 3. Moving to next question students which is question number 47. Let's read the question. Volume of O2 required at STP for the complete combustion of 5.8 kilogram of butane is. Student for this question first of all we have to write the balanced equation of combustion of butane. I am writing the reaction C4H10 which is butane when reacts with O2 here 2 moles of butane reacts with 13 moles of O2 to give 8 moles of CO2 and 10 moles of H2O. In this question we have to calculate the volume of O2 required at STP for the complete combustion of 5.8 kilograms of butane. So first of all we have to calculate number of moles of butane in 5.8 kilogram. So moles of butane which is equals to 5.8 into 10 to the power 3 grams upon molar mass which is equals to 58 ultimately number of moles is equals to 100 so student again it is very clear that 2 moles of butane requires 13 moles of O2 so we can calculate the moles of O2 required for the combustion of 100 moles of butane it is very clear that moles of O2 required for the combustion of 100 moles of butane will be which is equals to 13 divided by 2 multiplied by 100 now we can calculate the volume of O2 at STP since we know that the volume of 1 mole of a gas at STP is 22.4 liter Students, as we all know that volume of 1 mole of a gas at STP is 22.4 liter. So we can calculate the volume of this amount of O2 at STP which is equals to volume of O2 required at STP is equals to 13.2 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 22.4 liter as we have already discussed that the volume of one mole of a gas at STP is 22.4 liter which is ultimately equals to 14.56 into 10 to the power 3 liter that means the correct answer is option number 2 moving to next question students which is question number 48 let's read the question students maximum number of electrons 
present in magnesium atom having quantum number m is equals to 0 and s is equals to half is student for that first of all we need to write the electronic configuration of magnesium i'm writing it magnesium the atomic number is 12 so electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 and 3s2 now students will know that for s subshell there is only one orbital and for that the value of m is 0. In case of p subshell there are three orbitals and out of those three one has the value 0 for m. That means the total electrons for which the value of m is 0 among these are 8. Out of those 8 electrons four electrons will have plus half value of spin quantum number. That means the total electrons in magnesium atom having quantum number m is equals to 0 and s is equals to plus half will be 4. Therefore, the correct answer is option number 4. Moving to next question students, which is question number 49. Let's read the question. When an electron is de-excited from the fourth energy level to the ground state level, of helium ion then the wavelength of radiation emitted will be where we are given that Rydberg constant is Rh so student here in this question we have to calculate the wavelength and for that the formula is 1 upon lambda Rh which is Rydberg constant 1 upon n1 square minus 1 upon n2 square multiplied by z square now student here we are given with helium ion and for that the value of z that is atomic number is also, we are given that the electron is de-excited from the fourth energy level to ground state. That means the value of N1 is 1 and the value of N2 is 4. So, let's start the question. Let's put the values of N1, N2 and Z in the equation. 1 upon lambda is equals to Rh. 1 upon 1 square minus 1 upon 4 square multiplied by 2 square. So, 1 upon lambda is equals to Rh 15 upon 16 multiplied by 4. So, here it will be 4. So, it is very clear that lambda is equals to 4 upon 15 Rh. So, it is very clear that the correct answer is option number 2. Moving to next question students, which is question number 50. Let's read the question. If a particle of mass 10 milligram is moving with a velocity of 400 meter per second, then the wavelength associated with the moving particle will be. We are given with a value of Planck's constant, which is 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second. So, students, in this question, we have to calculate the wavelength, and for that, the formula is h upon mv. We are given with the value of h, which is 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34. Also, we are given with the value of mass, which is 10 milligram, and the value of velocity, which is 400 meter per second. So, student, here the mass is given in milligrams, and we have to convert this into kilogram. So, that means 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 kilograms so 10 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 multiplied by 400 which is ultimately equals to 1.65 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 31 meter that means the correct answer is option number 3 let's move to the next question students which is question number 51 